Welcome to Worship Live. It's January 26th, Tuesday. We're glad. We're glad. <laughs> See, you're, the trouble is you don't really know where you are because you're in the gym, but you're actually That's in. That's right, but I'm actually in Atlanta, and I'm just trying to keep my days straight and where I am. I know. You made a list for me, and it's right there in front of me. You can leave it there right in front of me. That's good. He's such a good spouse. He, he is. Which well, is really good because today oh, yeah, is today. National Spouses National Day. National Spouses Day. Yes. Yes. How'd you like right. the way I set you up on that? You we were, that's awesome. <laughs> yes, it's also like National it. Peanut Brittle Day, if you like peanut brittle. Yeah, I love peanut brittle, but you probably can't have that anymore, can you? Well, he's not allowed to have peanut brittle, but I don't because, you know, with my bridge. I'm well, not that's what I was say. I think probably. It'll be like <laughs> the bridge over troubled waters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Does I'm not taking stuff. any chances. And it's hard because it's, you know, you could just suck it until it's dissolved. But, <laughs> but who does who that? Does That's that? right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Robert, Robert can't have it. So send the peanut brittle to Zach. Oh, yeah. you know why? I <laughs> He's got young I, teeth. I too. actually can have peanut brittle. I just can't have peanut brittle that has added sugar. Oh, like if it had sugar on top. He's, he calls that added <laughs> oh, sugar. Oh, added sugar. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. what I say. That's but what he says. But just so you know, he, he knows the difference. He's just... I'm not supposed to have sugar. Yeah. And it's National Irish Coffee Day. Is it really? No, that was yesterday. That was, that was <laughs> yesterday? Well, I don't know where I'm at either. <laughs> Today is National Plan for Vacation I need, Day. See, I need a vacation. You need a vacation. It is. It is a time, January, the end of January, to kind of like, you know, we got the winter doldrums, so you plan, what are we going to do? I feel like Can we've we been on anywhere? vacation, though, since March because nothing's normal. No, like, you know, that's right. It is weird. Not and having with conf- Robert go- and I going to Georgia so much, we're glad I to I feel like home. I'm on vacation every other week <laughs> when true. I go to have a treatment. <laughs> Somehow <laughs> I don't think that's vacation. I'm sleep for three days. Not right? much of a vacation. <laughs> no. What are you going to sing for us? Uh, I think we're going to do... Kathy Lee Gifford. <laughs> oh, yes. We can depend on his word. I think it's interesting. Um, this today, the actual day that we're recording this is... Um, inauguration day and uh so it's kind of interesting the 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 mindset that you had when you planned these obviously well, no we've already inaugurated them yesterday was inauguration day. oh yesterday well, this, you, but, this okay. is this yes. is the 26th yes but you planned it on inauguration yes day. i did and so as you planning it i thought the interesting choice of your mm-hmm. songs mm-hmm. that we need to be reminded that god is faithful god is in control and that's where our heads are today that's where my head and is. so um maybe your head is there today and and next week as well so as we look to the lord we know that what the word of god says is true that we can depend on his word and it's not about luck it's about depending on the word of god because he he gives us a sure and firm foundation growing darker as the evening draws near. The storm clouds have gathered and the shadows are gone. When our hope has faded, replaced now with fear. Tell me what can we are so broken that we can't even cry when our faith is wounded and our joy is gone tell me what can we depend on we can depend on his word when our hope is gone we can still depend on And 
I love the lyrics to that song. Richard Blackaby wrote these words, Government leaders come and go, but the King of Kings remains firmly on his throne throughout the ages. And I'm thankful this morning that we have hope. And that hope is in Jesus Christ, the one who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so we're going to talk about hope today on the podcast with Lynn Wilson, 2.30. Hope for today, I trust that you'll watch. It's a Bible study for ladies. It's available on Facebook Live, BoxCast, and YouTube. While we're thinking about hope in the future, I don't know what this, how this really ties in, we're, we're thinking about doing some new things in the next couple months. So let's plant a seed. Uh, you and Joyce are working on a program for homeschoolers, which has obviously become, I remember when people made fun of us that homeschooled, and now all of a sudden everybody's homeschooling. It has made it a lot different for Carter um, homeschooling mm-hmm. because um, you know, I'll say, are you, how are you doing? Are you feeling alone? Are you feel? he's like, well, I'm bored, but everybody's bored, yeah, yeah. you know? So, um, you know, understanding that all the excuses that he had, um, for doing school at home are kind of out the window because he knows so many are there too. But, so um, tell us about this new event. I think we're having a kickoff day just to introduce the concept sometime in early February. Yes, I believe it's February 17th. It's an open house, basically a Keswick homeschool day. An opportunity for you to bring a, a pack, a pack, a picnic lunch, and have lunch with us here, right in the gymnasium. And then we're going to be offering six different classes that homeschoolers could sign up for. And uh, 
all of them are facilitated by staff members here at Keswick, and uh, we will be offering those, and I think it'll be really exciting to see. It'll be like a six-week uh, running program. And so it's different than a um, homeschool co-op right. because um, you get to come and your kids participate in the class, and um, moms and dads can uh, fellowship with other um, homeschool parents um, because that's some one of the greatest needs that they have. So we're excited. If you come to the home, the open house, you'll get to meet each one of the teachers and hear about what happens in each class and decide if you want to be part of the classes starting in March, I believe. Yes, there will be a photography class, a music class, an audiovisual class. There will be a nature science type class. And an art and class. And a physical fitness right. class. So pretty exciting. So we're not just sitting here saying, wow, we, there's nothing to do. Uh, I'm grateful for our staff that have vision and want to think about the future. Jim Becker, one of our board members, used to say, we're anchored to the rock, but checking out the times. And so we're trying to see what does God want us to do as we move forward for however long we find ourselves in this new season. So check it out. Lots of new things available on our website, www.americaskeswick.org. We appreciate you joining us every day on Worship Live, Monday through Friday. So we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow at 1.30. God bless and have a great day.